now we need to understand how to do plotting as well mm-hmm. because a lot of understanding comes from drawing some visual some visual representation understood so maybe we look at current source voltage source and resistance mm-hmm. and look at uh, you know visual representation of how they behave so um, we studied ohm's law yes as voltage equals for a resistance we said uh, there is a potential difference v for a resistance r the current is uh, sorry the voltage is i times r correct or if you apply the way we we studied the circuit was you apply a voltage v across it the current is v, v by, by r. r so you can look at it as either way so now i am going to take from the example that we did we connected a voltage source v across a resistance r so what i am going to do is i am going to plot the characteristics of the resistance mm-hmm. so let us say uh, i am applying input is voltage the voltage source v the output is the current i am going to draw it on the y axis okay for this resistance so if voltage is zero no current zero current voltage is zero no current actually we just saw a specific example of yeah. that so we'll say one point here nice then uh, if i apply a voltage v we saw the voltage is v by r yeah so so if i apply v so i uh, i'll get a voltage um current current i'll get a current v by r if i apply 2v yeah i will get a current 2v by r 2v by r and so on so this will be a this will line be a like straight that. line passing through the origin got it and now so if i flip the voltage in the other in the other direction so now in fact flipping voltage we draw it like this i think it's important to also draw yes, the other way yes. so now the potential difference is in this fashion but i am looking at the current in the same direction current in the same direction so i have only flipped the voltage so now what happens is this current so uh we are imagining current we have always understood current only flowing from higher potential to lower potential now we are asking what is the current flowing from lower potential to higher potential it will be a negative current correct so actually current in the circuit will flow like this yeah positive current will flow like this negative current will flow in the other direction so this is negative current so which means we move from the first quadrant to the third quadrant yes but the magnitude of the current is still v by r yes so we can now uh, draw it like this so we'll say that the maybe i'll i need to do a better job of drawing the figures so i'll uh, draw it like this i'll draw the points and then connect them yeah i hope it looks something like a straight line <laughs> right it's a hand drawn straight it's line. a hand drawn straight line <laughs> yes yeah it's fine it's fine yeah i think it's fine for now now this uh, straight line passing through the origin is the iv or vi characteristic of a resistor now if you plot the other way you can also plot voltage versus current mm-hmm. in which case the slope of the line will be the resistance so if you plot the i'll draw it on the next page uh maybe i'll draw it right here yeah if i were to plot voltage as a function of current then the we know that v is nothing but i times r yeah. so the slope of the curve will directly give you the so the slope of the curve will directly give you the resistance actually we can also plot the vi characteristics for a voltage source or a current source 
Sure. Now I am going to draw for a voltage source. If I were to draw the PA characteristic for a voltage source, just now a voltage this source. just a voltage source. This is now becoming a little bit abstract because I don't know what is connected. Yeah. So now I will draw it like this. So I don't know what is there. I don't know what is there, but I know that I can connect many things and I can get some current. So now I want to see I can connect different resistors. Find out what this voltage is and plot the VI characteristic. Okay, okay. I can now change the resistance. Mm -hmm, and plot mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. So if I did that, the potential difference will be the same, irrespective of what resistance or what some whatever I connect there. So in fact, I will get a straight line like this. exactly at the potential difference V. Yeah. Similarly, for a, I can do the same thing for a current source. Now, for a current source I, it does not matter what I connect here, but there is some potential difference that is developed here. Yeah. Now, what I am going to, I keep changing what this thing is, it could be a resistance, I keep changing it, I find out what this V is. And if I plot the IV characteristics of that, I will get a straight line parallel to the x-axis, whose value is just the value of the current source. So, we now have a good visual representation of voltage source, current source, and resistance. Yes. I think this is a good place to stop for now. <laughs> yes. Because yeah. it is uh, getting, uh, we are getting to uh, the point where uh, things are getting very interesting and the next topic is going to take a little bit of, little bit uh, longer time. And actually we also need to reach a point where we can do some problems with numbers. True, true. Just plotting is not yeah. a good place to stop. Yeah. But uh, we will get to that point in the next class next lecture, where what we will do is we will also learn a little bit more about this and start working with numbers as well. And maybe we will add more components to it. Yes, of course. So, now make it more complicated. Yes. Correct. We will do that. <laughs>